Uh, Wayne Rogers played Trapper John McIntyre. Now, there's several stories on why he left the show. Uh, some say he left because he was up for the part of Hawkeye Pierce, but they convinced him to take Trapper and said, you'll have equal billing, you'll have equal lines, all that different stuff. But it, clear, it became clear early on that Alan Alda was the star of the show and nothing against Wayne Rogers and the other actors, but Alan Alda is just, he is, he was the star. He had star, he, he was, he was an amazing actor. Again, they all were, but you got to go with Alan Alda there. He didn't like that. He also, he never had a contract, he said. And when he went to go sign the contract, he read some of the stuff. He didn't like some of the wording. He said, you know what? I'm out of here. I'm going to try different things. I can, you know, he was also a financial whiz. He could do that. So he left the show. He never got his send off. Um, so there's that because it was filmed. He left after this filming of season three. Uh, Trapper was, was a, a dedicated surgeon. He thumbed his nose at the military. He was Hawkeye's right hand man. He was, he was a perfect match for Hawkeye. He was, so this was, this is what they, they had to get it right when they replaced him. They, they, it, they had to nail it because people had to accept the new character coming in because it was so important for Hawkeye to have that, that companion, that, that comrade, that, that someone who he could feed off and, you know, just, Again, it, it it had to work. And they replaced it with B.J. Honeycutt, played by Mike Farrell. And I'm going to say they did a really good job. Even though Mike Farrell, he was very similar to B.J., but he was different, too. Whereas, whereas BJ, uh, Trapper liked the ladies, you know, even though he was married, he would he would date as many people as Hawkeye did. He, you know, there was, there's an adultery storyline in the first five seasons where they kind of phase it out, but we'll get into that later on. Uh, whereas B.J. was very loyal to his wife. Um, there was one time he may have strayed. We don't know for sure. Some people say he didn't. Some people say he did. I'm on the side that say he did. But overall, he was very dedicated to his wife and wasn't, you know, when Hawkeye would go out dating, you know, chasing nurses, uh, BJ didn't, whereas Trapper did. Um, dedicated surgeon. I don't think he thumbed his nose at the military as much as Trapper did. Um, but Again, they nailed it. I think what really helped the, the first episode, two episodes of season four, are mainly about getting BJ Honeycutt involved in the TV show MASH. And that really worked. And I think people accepted BJ because there was some chemistry right away between Alan Alda and Mike Farrell. And it worked. And we accepted BJ. Again, if it doesn't, if, the, if people don't accept him, I think the show struggles. I think the show has a terrible time going forward, but it worked. They nailed the cats off to the writers.